Alright, so boom, what's going on, bro? Welcome back to another installment of entertainment. How are y'all doing today? Hopefully, you're doing more, saying less, and keeping that same energy. So, I ate every other day, alternate day eating, for seven days, and this is what happened. Day number one, do or uh, day number one. Uh. Videos are always better than pictures. No sucking in. This is how it is right now. I've already been working out for about five days consistently, but uh, this is the progress picture. Don't know. As y'all can see, I'm looking kind of murked, looking kind of beat, no fade, no lineup, no anything. But the barber came clutch, but the pull to his crib right now. Get a little, be more presentable, pretty much, right? So, <laughs> I'm gonna see y'all in a bit. Bow! I'll see that, y'all see it. The power of a haircut is not to be underestimated. But yeah, today's not too bad. Um, I've done a Ramadan fasting a while back ago. It's where you essentially, you fast with no water or food from dawn, essentially around 4 a.m. to like 7 p.m. or so, approximately. So be because of my experience with Ramadan fasting and then just regular intermittent fasting and I've done water fasting before and dry fasting, this shouldn't be too difficult, but we shall see. We're going seven days of alternate intermittent fasting or alternate day eating. So it's gonna be interesting. So. I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. Yeah. When I get to eat. <laughs> Deuces. Hey y'all, what's good with y'all? So uh, to make the fasting a lot easier and more e more bearable and to blunt my appetite more, I've been taking about two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar in the morning and two tablespoons in the evening. And it's meant to blunt your appetites. Yeah. I'm supposed to be taking it with a straw, but uh, I forgot to buy a straw, so uh, F it. <clears throat> it tastes bad, but, but it does the job. So see y'all tomorrow. All right, so what's going on, bro? So this is day number two, the, my eating day. So I feel like on the days that I'm eating, I will definitely work out. And on the day, my workouts take about 30 minutes. And on the days that I'm not eating, I'll just go for a 30 minute walk. So essentially the model of eating that I'm following is eat less, exercise less, but still move a lot. And then the days that I'm eating, I eat more, exercise more, right? So maybe I'll get more into it towards the end of the video if there's time. But if you, you can do research on your own yourself, the eat less, exercise less model and the eat more, exercise more model allows the metabolism to constantly be adaptive because after a while you eating the same thing doing the same routine your body gets used to it right so you have to constantly be manip not manipulating but making your metabolism adapt to different things so that you can constantly see results so i want to exercise work out and uh i'll eat so i think about approximately my fasts are about three to six hours because i'm not eating right right, right away I think I'll start breaking on the days I'm eating. I'll break around 3 p.m. or so just to not get that mental cloud that usually comes with eating a lot of food. So, see you. Bow. It's time to eat. It is time to eat. Usually what I'll do first is I'll take about four eggs just to initially break the fast. Wait about 30 minutes, then I'll eat so that there's, no, there's, there's not too much insulin being injected into my body all at once, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. These are the views of my 30 minute walk. Got auto assigned, about to go up them stairs. And then there's another like extra, like really good view. Should about to show y'all all of that too. The world is beautiful. It is beautiful. I think these morning walks will definitely be more of a thing, definitely. Definitely. Let's get out of the house, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Alright, so I'm just about finishing my walk and I'm about to go home now. Um but yeah, I highly recommend if even if you can't leave your house or you don't want to leave your house, that um you set a timer for yourself every hour, every hour and a half that you move or you walk or you uh do some type of push-ups, right? Just for five minutes, three minutes, whatever you can, just so that you're not sedentary the whole entire day. So I'm about to go back home, 
get some work done. I'll set a timer for like an hour, hour and a half. And then I will maybe I'll do a walk up and down the stairs in the building, or I will do some little bit of hit cardio, a little bit of push-ups, a little bit of pop squats, just so I'm not so sedentary. Right, so walking for 30 minutes is one thing, it has more of a hormonal effect if you have constant movement throughout your day and not just sedentary. So I came to the realization that breaking my fast at 9 p.m. actually works better for me. So essentially today I went like three, like five hours, no. Today I went three hours extra on my fast so that I could break at 9, 9 p.m. Y'all see that, 9 p.m.? Hopefully you see that. So essentially I'm gonna break at nine and then tomorrow will be my eating day from 9 p.m. to 9 p.m. the next day. And then following that, so 9 p.m. right now to 9 p.m. tomorrow, I will eat. And then from that 9 p.m. to 9 p.m. that next day, I will fast. So essentially on my on my fasting days, quote unquote, I'll have like maybe like a, essentially, essentially a meal a day, but it's still 24 hours, you know what I'm saying? If you get it? <laughs> and, I, and then on my workout days, I will essentially have a earlier eating cutoff time, if, 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 if that makes sense. But yeah, I'm just making some eggs right now, about to take some pancakes, and, and that will be my meal. Y'all see it. Sweet, sweet food. This is just a starter. This is just a, like an appetite. <laughs> the rest is coming. You know, I also noticed that when I'm eating, as I am right now, <laughs> I'm more conscious of my eating. I'm not in such a rush to just stuff the food and mindlessly watch whatever content I'm watching, but I'm savoring each bite just not just more, right? I don't know, maybe because maybe it's because of the yoga that I'm doing, but I'm not in a rush to stuff the food. It's more like mindful eating, if that's a thing. <laughs> So that was just a little taste of my yoga sessions. Usually I do yoga before I do my workouts just so that I have more mobility and it's kind of like stretching, but more mindful, you know what I'm saying? So I did my yoga. Now I'm gonna do my actual workout and uh, I'm gonna get my day started. Whoever told you body weight workouts aren't enough to get a hormonal response and to make you sweat, lied to you. The gym is a lie. <laughs> the gym is a scam. <laughs> if they're doing body weight workouts and they're not sweating, that means they have too much rest periods. Because essentially what I'm doing is body weight workouts, but with hit style. So essentially 40 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest for 20 minutes straight. Oh, y'all can't even see me sweating. Hold on. <sighs> Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm, they lie to you, <laughs> they lie to you. Body weight workouts do work if you have a short enough rest period. All right. Another day, another dollar. 24 hour fast, breaking at 9 p.m. Let's get it, my G, bruv, bruvet. Hey, I was good, y'all. So you know how I told you I like to do like mini workouts every hour, hour and a half. I don't know, maybe it's my body getting used to this type of eating, but I definitely feel a little bit lightheaded from time to time, just like I have to catch myself. <laughs> but overall, I do feel lighter. Definitely some weight, some fat, not weight, but fat is leaving my body or is getting used more effectively. Another day, another dollar. Let's get it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So for those of y'all that are keeping track, today is day six, another day or so, and then I'll get my full final body results. I feel like this is a good way of eating, to be honest. It's like, I don't have to worry about eating on the days that I'm not eating. And just like, I have more focus in terms of like my work and I don't have to worry about my next meal, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to go work out, do some yoga, 
And I'll check back in with y'all later. Deuces. Hey man, so that concludes the workout. I'm bust, I'm tired. Now it's time to, now it is time to take a cold shower, like dead ass. I purposely take cold showers so that I can get used to the pain, not pain, but like get used to be, get used to being uncomfortable and doing things that I don't wanna do. Like if I don't, if I don't wanna take a cold shower, but I do it, that I would say translates into working out even though you don't wanna do it or an assignment even though you don't wanna do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, y'all see that though, right? <laughs> it's all good. Gonna get it cinched very soon, very soon. I'm gonna tell y'all, there's very few things harder than taking a cold shower for even 30 seconds or 10 seconds. If you can take a cold shower for 30 seconds, you can approach that girl. Approaching that girl is not more difficult than taking a 30 second cold shower or even a minute, I promise you that. Or applying for that job or standing up to a said person that's annoying. If you can take a whole shower, <laughs> there's very few things that you cannot do. No cat. Friendly neighborhood cat. What's good with you, bro? You blessed? What are you saying? Good? <laughs> Deuces. The day is almost complete. Um, definitely, I felt some more this today for some reason, but I definitely drank my water. Drink my water, and I've been busy doing these notes. Future uh, videos. It's how I do my. It's how I do my research pretty much, right? Do my notes, and then I make the video. This is the behind the scenes that people do not see. It's anytime you see a ten minute video from me, trust and believe <laughs> that it took me longer than ten minutes to make that video. The research, the editing, the script, and then the actual posting, and then replying to comments. It's a continuous cycle. But yeah, it is, uh, see that, hold on, almost nine o'clock, about to bake my fast just now. Hey, I was good, Chad, so today is my eating day, so obviously today is the day I work out, yoga, all that good stuff. I saw this one video that I've been doing, before I do my workouts, I always do yoga, you guys know this by now, <laughs> but this one extra video here is called the psoas, I'm not sure if you can see it, hold on. So as exercises for yoga, complete game changer. Your so as is, is essentially the muscle around here that's tight and it also affects your lower back. So if you've never done yoga for the so as muscle and the lower back specifically, definitely something to think about. Hey, I was going to So this is the updated video, side by side, same pose. I realized it did not take me a week to get fat or to get chubbier so it's gonna take me more than a week to get back into actual fitness shape see that no sucking in definitely f i feel lighter and you can't really calculate or quantify the feeling right i can't quantify a feeling but i feel better but we move Maybe I'll do a two-week update. So that concludes my seven-day fasting for you lot, my manda, my galdam, bro, bro, bro. Um, I'll definitely say maybe I'll keep doing this until I get to my goal weight or my goal physique, and then long-term for long-term su sustainability, maybe I'll do one or two 24-hour fasts regularly every week just to, you know, get some of the fasting benefits. And if you want to try doing this, I would highly recommend that you stop eating your first meal or you stop eating for the day at 9 p.m. and then don't eat again until the following 9 p.m. and that's how you can do start doing 24 hour fast you know what i'm saying but yo god bless much love peace and joy namaste always remember if it doesn't feed you don't water it and too much or any good thing is good for nothing